I'm glad to see you, Rishi, Prime Minister. Thank you for the support and leadership that the United Kingdom provides to Ukraine. We are truly united in defending freedom. When we talk about recovery, we talk about creating millions of jobs, increasing corporate income, and GDP. This is important not only for Ukraine, but for all countries aspiring to live freely. Recovery must be based on values and trust. We are capable of overcoming the ruins left by Russian aggression and protecting lives to prevent further aggressions. The world is watching us, expecting victory over aggression and the restoration of normalcy. To inflict an ideological defeat on the aggressor, by defending Ukraine, we defend freedom. Building Ukraine means building freedom, it is a global task. Thank you and our partners for cooperation in recovery matters. We are transitioning from vision to project implementation. We have five directions in which we are laying the foundations for peace. Unity, stability, growth, security, and democracy. The first point is strengthening unity. Ukraine strengthens unity within the European Union, expressed in political, economic, sanction-related, and humanitarian decisions. We activate the moral strength of NATO and recognize the value space of the EU by developing bilateral alliances with democratic world leaders. We ensure the freedom upon which our people rely. Secondly, we enhance stability. We strengthen stability through agricultural production. 600 million consumers in the world depend on us. The Russian blockade highlighted the importance of our grain. We are resuming food exports. It is stability for many countries. Energy is also essential. Russian aggression has demonstrated the need for a green transformation. Attacks on our energy facilities show the need to move away from fossil fuels. We are becoming a key supplier of green energy. Our potential is for $100 billion. Building capacities in Ukraine safeguards the world from chaos. The third point is fostering growth. Ukraine has great potential for economic growth. Russian aggression destroys infrastructure and lives in the country. Ukraine can become a hub for green metallurgy and possesses critical resources such as lithium. Cooperation with Ukraine protects our countries and companies from recessions. The fourth point is strengthening security. The war shows the need for effective defense against aggression in the modern world. Weapons, infrastructure, production, and technology play an important role. Combat drones, artillery, air defense, shelters, and cyberspace are needed. Ukraine is building security together with partners to convince the world of the invincibility of democracy. And finally, the fifth point is democracy. Russia invaded Ukraine not only to seize our land, resources, and people. It is evident that the Russian Empire cannot exist without Ukraine. The masters of Russia fear our democracy. Why? Because democracy leads to the rule of law. The fight against corruption and the recognition of the value of every individual. Democracy is part of the Ukrainian character. The more democracy we have, the stronger it is in our region. Ukraine's transparency makes any corrupt model in Russia. Disgraceful, even full-scale Russian aggression has not stopped our internal reforms. We will show the world how a state can function. Effectively without contact between officials and citizens. Government services can be transferred online. We export our experience of digitalization to other countries. We have also changed our approach to economic relations. Aiming for financial transparency, banking system stability, free markets, and fair conditions for all enterprises. Our goal is to build institutions and continue reforms to guarantee democracy and preserve it as hope for the entire region. Ladies and gentlemen, we are building a peaceful, stable, and democratic world. I invite you to visit Ukraine. Thank you for your attention and support. Glory to Ukraine. Altruism is a good thing until you're hungry. Subscribe to this channel right now. It's the only thing they ask of you.